Hello, people. I'm back with another part of Roommates. Now, this is a continuation from my last left off, of course. Uh, sorry I didn't record as much beforehand, uh, etc., etc. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever. <clears throat> Max, is that you? And, hey, gal, go, come over. Come on over. I've been wa working on new stuff. Come listen. Well, I kind of... Oh, come on. Just give me a couple of minutes. Plus, I'm making some good change, right? Stay a bit. Stay a bit. Play a bit? Okay, why not? It's not like I get cute boys asking me to come over every day. I can be late to one class. Can I? Are you... Are you... Are you busking? What does busking mean? Well, I didn't start out to. I was just practicing a bit out here, and some jerk some threw some spare change in my case. I look over Max. He is looking a little grumpy, but it's probably just his laundry day. Well, I don't think you look like a bum, Max. Ha, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, I think. Anyway, it's not such a bit bad gig. I might do this for a bit of beer money on occasion. I don't know where all these college students get all this money to throw away, though. I thought college kids were supposed to be poor. I know I am. No kidding, right? So you heard the music, right? What'd you think? Oh, it's fantastic! You're really good at it, Max. Heh, <laughs> I know. I've got a good feeling about this song. I think it'll be a big one for, big one for us. Ooh, implication? Hey, as long as you're here, help me make a bit more money. Ooh. Well, um, I've got a little cash, but I kind of have plans for it. No, no, nothing like that. I just want you to help draw a crowd. What? No, it's easy. If people walk by and see you cheering and clapping for me, they're going to want to stop and find out what's going on, right? I, I guess, but, I mean, you want me to cheer for you? <clears throat> yeah, you know, just go, just go swoon for me and stuff. Act like a real fan. I don't know, Max. I, I don't know if I can do that. He wants me to make a spectacle of myself. I can already feel my cheeks heating as, at the thought of it. Come on, Ann, do me a solid. Tell you what, I'll even give you a manager's fee. Ten percent off the top of whatever I take in. Think, think of how many bookmarks and textbook covers that kind of cash could get you. Bookmarks and textbook covers? <laughs> you have strange turn-ons, and Very strange turn-ons. Or whatever you buy for studying. You know what I mean. Woo, go Woo, go stud! Oop, everybody know what's true to you. Yeah, play, guitar man! I look over at the new voice to see two very attractive girls doing exactly what Max wanted. Only one of them spoke up. She seems pretty exuberant. Wait, did you offer this to every girl? No, I swear. I guess I've managed to get a few fans. He is playing pretty well. Still, I can't believe they showed up just as he was asking me. Well, I guess you don't need me then. Aw, oh, come on, Anne. Aw, oh, come on, Anne. I totally need you still. Remember? Three's a crowd, right? If people see a real crowd starting up, they'll really start to flood in. I don't know. Here for Max. You know, I came here to make friends, and I think Max is my friend. So I just have to say what they're saying? Play another song! Encore! This fucking chick! Looks like fucking dragon from Sakura Sono Pet Nakanajo. Am I the only one who sees that? Though, granted, the bust is a bit more prominent. What's the clothes seem a lot different? Like, the design seems a lot different. Like, somebody took the same art style and did their way, honestly. Max is giving her a very odd look, like, oh. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. I appreciate it so much. Um, I just hope I can do a good job. You'll be great. Just wait until you see me work a crowd, though, and I back away from Max as he begins to play a new song for us. I even throw a coin into his guitar case just to help things along. Woo! You... Hold on. Woo! You play... You play really well! Yeah! Play it some more! 
Hey everyone, I'm Max. I'm for, with the Back Alley Flash. <laughs> back Alley Flash. That sounds like, honestly, some cheap blowjob or something. Though, uh, they're not here right now. Keep playing! Yeah, yeah, you sound great. A stud? One of the girls gives me... Looks at me questioningly. I know, because I saw her out of the corner of my eyes as I tried to hide my face. Yeah, good looking, you sound great. The girl gives me a thumbs up while mouthing, isn't he cute at me? I just nod, still embarrassed. It doesn't take long before Max's plan starts to work. An actual crowd has started to form around, to gather around. Max is playing and looking around the crowd, winking at some of the ladies. I get a nod and a wink before he starts into a new song. This one, this one is for a good friend who's really helped me out. I guess Max sings for friends too. I blush at the dedication. You're welcome! I stopped just shy of glaring at the girl who piped up. I know who he met, and that's good enough. <laughs> He's still looking at me as he starts really ripping on his guitar. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, depends if the washer's done. Okay. Bye. Sorry, YouTube. That was my dad. I had to call and make sure I put some some towels in the little washer, etc., etc. He still looks at me as he starts really ripping into his guitar. I think I've heard him practice this one in his room. His solo is really powerful. The whole crowd is looking in rapt attention at, as Max's fingers glide along the frets. Max is in the zone. He's got us eating out of the palm of his hand. Smack! Out of nowhere, a football smacks Max right in the face. Can't believe it! He falls over, splayed out on his back. Uh, I've been hit in the leg with a soccer ball. That's not too pleasant. I can't imagine being hit in the face with a football. I've had nerfed footballs thrown at me, never a real one. Well, no, I've had them thrown at me, I just never hit me. Uh, had a basketball hit me once in the... Oh no, yeah, I got smacked in the face with a basketball once while I was playing basketball. Broke my glasses, cut my, put a cut on my nose, and failed to cut for half an hour. I'm running towards him as the other onlookers are gasping in shock. Whoa, music dude. Sorry, man. That was a really nasty fumble. Sorry, dude. Ugh, what the hell? I'm the first by Max to say. And what was that? Are you alright? Some idiot hit you. Ugh, I'm fine. Just knocked the wind out of me, that's all. The crowd around breathes a sigh of relief and starts dissipating. Hey, come on. We'll help rear bro. One of the onlookers rolls his eyes, grabs the football from where it landed near Max. With a vicious drop kick, he sends it towards the quad fountain. Not cool, dude. Max I laugh as the jerk runs off to rescue his football. Come on, let's close up shop and go count our booty. Yeah, okay. Thanks thanks for helping, man. Really. Well, next I'm going to help you out. Together we make our way out of the quad with Max's gear in tow. Ah, that was good. Time for breakfast. I mean, for lunch, apparently. I'm going to clean the hell out of this park today. The park won't know what hit it. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've rolled over a 12 of this entire night. Ah. Roll over a 12. Nothing like sleeping to make you feel like the whole day has hope. <laughs> hey, you should try, you should try doing tandem sometime. You've got a lot of skill. New event! Not much time left in the weekend, and I've still got a lot of studying to do. Classes are really starting to ramp up, and I don't want to get left behind. <sighs> are you crazy? Seriously? You've gone over the edge this time, you crazy control freak! Oh god, Dominic, what have you done? Did you steal her towel? Have you forgotten that this is college? I know you like to treat it like your personal hookup bar, but you're supposed to be here to learn. There's no excuse for taking our precious weekend time from us. And in and in the evenings? Some of us have lives to lead, jackass! Apparently Dominic and Isabella are arguing about something. They're, they're certainly being loud enough. I guess I could see what I guess what's going on. Then again... I kind of think I should be doing. Play event! I wanna know! 
Well, it couldn't hurt to find out what what they're going on about. They really are making too much noise for me really to really concentrate. I'm not steal I'm not stealing your life away, Isabella. I'm asking you to dedicate a few hours on Saturdays to actually accomplishing the higher learning you're supposed to be here for. What? You think I can't get keep my grades up? My GPA is fine, thank you very much. Oh yes, I'm sure you're acting you're acting every subject while you think about which boy to date next. Screw you! And besides, if you are if you are that good, you should be sharing your skills with the rest of the house. Just like Anne here should be sharing her tips with everyone. She's an excellent student. While I'm sure I could be convinced to study here a little closer, but that's beside the point. Wait, what are we doing? Uh, wait, what are we doing? Apparently, control freak Dominic likes to watch people studying. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really know what's going on here. That's not what I was talking about, and you know it. This, that is, in fact, exactly what I want to enforce a study group for. And I'm looking to Isabella about enforcing a study hall for the roommates every Saturday evening. A few hours every weekend for people to get help, get the help they need. You mean a few hours for you to lock everyone down? Keep us trapped in the house while we grow old. Some of us have plans on our weekend, jerk. We'd like to party while we're young, you know. And there will be plenty of time for to go have fun on Saturday night. On Sunday night. Oh yeah, everyone knows the best parties happen on Sundays, right? <laughs> I never knew one Sunday of when any of my friends would go partying. Even the friends I have that partied, never partied on a Sunday. They partied on Fridays, Saturdays, sometimes Wednesdays. Usually it was midweek or end week, never the start of a week. Only idiots do that. Oh, uh, no, wait, then there was back to school partying. That was the last party of the year, if I remember right, with some people. Maybe there's more to college life than just trying to party all the time. What about people's relationships? Some of us are very busy boyfriends, you know. Oh, I'm sorry! Let me call up the professors and let them know to stop classes next week so you can catch up on your makeouts. Oh, whatever. Well, Anne, what about you? You agree with me, right, Anne? A study a study hall could be fun, plus we'd all have... Oh, no, wait, this is Dominic. You agree with me, right, Anne? A, study, a group study hall would be fun, plus we'd all have a chance to learn something, some different things. Uh, for everybody watching, I have a small head cold, so I'm going to be cleaning my head out as well as doing this. <clears throat> I suppose Dominic is counting on me as backup. As his backup. Ugh. I'm sure the people in the house could be benefit from a more structured study point. Then again, I know if I want to impose... Then again, I don't know if I want to impose that on people. Moreover, if I'm ever going to get out of my shell, weekend fun might be the only time to do it. What if I ever had a boyfriend like Isabella? How much would I miss him Saturdays then? Okay, I'll probably have a boyfriend like Isabella. I'll probably never have a boyfriend like Isabella does. But anyway, I do love to study, and doing it in a group actually can be a lot of fun. Oh, no! It's one thing to organize it. You don't enforce it. I'm agreeing with Isabella. But I'm saying this. Isabella is right on this one. <clears throat> Sorry, Dominic. I have to side, a side with Isabella on this one. Ha! In your face! And don't tell me these delinquents have gone to you, too. It's not that they've gone to me. It's just that... Well, I mean... I mean, you're so good at hitting the books. I thought you'd be the ex you'd like the extra time for studying. Well, it's just that. It's just that weekends are for partying and getting out of the rut we get into during the weeks. Well, Anne is starting to realize that. This is still a place of learning, damn it. Well, it's not that I wouldn't be happy to help anyone who's having problems studying, but I don't think we should force others to give up their free time. And well. Sometimes it is nice to loosen up once in a while. College should be about trying different things, too. There you go, girl. Exactly! Oh, whatever. Screw you both. I try to help you do something to make you make your time as, pro as 
is productive, and this is what I get. Dominic storms off to his room. I feel bad for disappointing him, but I think I made the right decision. Isabella is sure that I made the right choice, though. Throwing her hand out so I can so I can give her a high five. There you go, nice one. I hope we didn't hurt his feelings too badly. Oh, he'll be fine once he remembers that we're that we're people and not some kind of learning robots. Though you may want to stay out of his way for a bit. Hey, though, nice to have a girl around here who has my back, you know? Isabella winks at me and goes back to her room. Oh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, I lost five. I just... You can lose points? I take the hint and head back to my own room. Okay, so I have to set my whole week here. Uh, bookstore clerk. I'll stick as a large store. Uh, yeah, I'll visit a pub. Uh, play chess, sleep early, study, study. Uh, football, water boy. <gasps> oh, wow, my eyes are starting to water up again. Ugh. Oh, you lose 15? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and adjust. No, you lose $15 for that, too. Actually, thinking about it, I'll want to sleep early here as well. I want to increase my energy. My grades are doing fairly well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we'll save. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Or, wait. Return. Okay, I think we're ready to start up again.